Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, the letter T in our continuing series of alphabetical songs here with Glenn Calloway from the basement. And just as a precursor, no, the word the is not included in the T's. We made that clear uh, months ago and we're sticking to our uh, curriculum here, so to speak. So, yeah, Glenn, I'm talking the to you, Steve. Don't be using it. We're not using the as T. <laughs> That's particularly for Steve at all the world's a stage because yeah. he likes that whatever the first letter is. No offense, yeah. but we he's disagree. a simple man. <laughs> Bob Dylan. Now that's a D, not a B. Yes, that's right. Not personal, just fact. <laughs> anyway, the letter T. We have a bunch, maybe not as many as the S. Uh, we appreciate all the comments, by the way, of the S has got some good feedback on that. Glenn, you're going to kick it off 10, 9, and 8 with the letter T as we work our way towards the end of the alphabet here. Be sad to see the series go. Okay, 10. I'm doing a song that I believe was on the Eagles' first album, but it's not my favorite version of this song, written by Gene Clark and Bernie Leadon. It's on the Dillard Clark album, the Fantastic Expedition of Dillard and Clark, and it's called "This the tr Train Leaves Here This Morning." Yep. I'm not sure what oh, I I would be on or whatever. It's that's a, just such a great song, and it's it's a, a killer version on this album. Doug Dillard and Gene Clark. Nice. Next, Sly and the Family Stone. I want to thank you for letting me be oh. myself again. <laughs> Off this great hit Classic. album. Higher. Sly yeah. the Family Stone. They've shown up quite a few times on our list. They have. Nice. Well, I'm a big Sly fan. Number eight, yeah. Grateful Dead, my favorite band. It was determined a couple of weeks ago that they have to be my favorite band. Touch of Grey, their only <laughs> hit song ever. Go on. The, the charted was touch of gray. I thought you were going with trucking for a minute when, when I heard T. Trucking would have been good too. Yep. Good one. That's I like mention. I like Touch of Gray. Touch of Gray was a good hit. Yeah. And it was apropos for the time, you know, like getting yeah. older and the skeleton in the video. Real cool. Mm -hmm. All right. My number 10. Going back to Jackson Brown. These days. Wonderful song. These days I should wonder. Uh, Just you know, beautiful Jackson writing. Wrote, wrote that song when he was 16 years old. You think of the depth that know. man had at 16. Right. And let's not give, just, let's give a shout out to Greg Allman, who did an incredible version of that song as well. And that's also uh Jackson and Greg Allman were roommates in LA before Greg came back home to join his brother in the Allman Brothers. And Nico, too. She had a nice rendition of that as well. Yeah. Great song. Uh, number nine. Going to uh, ELO of the New World Record. Telephone Line. Oh, great song. Great pop tune with the... You can hear the phone. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Just One of their best classic. songs, I think. I think it is. It is probably my favorite ELO song. Uh, and I'm going back to Mr. Bob Seeger for number eight off the live album, Live Bullet. It is Turn the Page. Oh, another great song. Yeah. Classic rock staple. I'm, I'm a big Bob Seeger fan, so I could try and get him in as much as I can. There we go. My turn. 10, 9, 8. Just remember the vegetable I hate the most in the world starts with a T. Turn up. Oh, please. <laughs> Yeah. My, my, actually, my least favorite vegetable is beet. I hate beets. Oh, I do too. I hate beets yeah. too. I didn't know it was a vegetable. Are they vegetables? Well, whatever. I don't know. I what didn't is know it? what they were. I just, I didn't, I can't even categorize a beet. It's just like, what the hell is that? It's yeah, a lot like turnip. Turnip and yeah. beet are similar. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Next, man, I don't know how this ranks so low. It's one of the greatest songs of all time. It's just so well written, especially for the times. And it really, it, it is a timeless track, but the title song from this, Times They Are a Change in Bob Dylan. Yeah. Yeah. You'll sink like a stone for the times they are changing. 
Phenomenal. Next, one of my top five Beatles songs, Ticket to Ride from mm. Help. I just think that's just, if you had to give somebody who'd never heard the Beatles examples of songs to listen to, to understand what the Beatles were all about, that's one song I would include. Yes. That is their sound. Next, my second favorite Rolling Stones song off my favorite Rolling Stones album, Tumble and Dice off of oh, man. Main Street. Freaking amazing track. I screwed up because I did not have that. <laughs> That's one that yeah, I love. Oh, Randy got an ass kicker of the week. Yeah, do I, I love Tumble and Dice. Is that it? Did I do three? Yes, you did. Okay. All right. Number seven for me, you know, Chicago two, 25 or six to four. Oh, forgot about that. That's the, that the great one I left off. Terry Cass on guitar. What a yeah, solo that song. is. And my favorite Chicago album. Yeah. Number six for me. I know it's overplayed. I know everybody's tired of hearing it, but I'm not. Tiny Dancer off a of Madman Across the Water. Uh, Blue Jean Baby, L.A. Lady, Seamstress for the Band. Love it. Yeah. Tony Danza. Tony Danza. And you had the Eagles earlier. I went a little bit later in their career, a couple of years later, actually. Take It to the Limit. Oh, classic Eagles track. Randy Meisner on lead oh. vocal on this one. Beautiful Eagles song. Never off better. of the one of the never. Nights album. I love hey, Joe Walsh. It the Eagles that I love. No Joe Walsh. <laughs> Although I love Joe, don't get me wrong. Right. It's not the Eagles. My turn? Yes, four, three, and okay. two. I seem to have trouble counting to three. Uh, I lose track. <laughs> okay, this is probably your number one. I'm thinking. Maybe. Thunder Road. One of Bruce's incredible songs. I mean, yeah. Screen door slams, Mary's dress waves, like a vision she dances across the porch as the radio plays. Roy Orbison singing for the lonely. Roy Orbison singing for the lonely. What a track. Yeah. Okay, now I picked this higher, and you've already picked it. We got a, a match here. Jackson Brown, these days, I think is just one of the most brilliant songs ever written. These days, it I is. sit on quarter stones and count the time and quarter tones to ten and just don't confront me with my failures i have not forgotten them it's just uh, that's the line right there yep yeah and number two right yes number two mountain and leslie west covering jack bruce's greatest composition theme from an imaginary western off a of mountain oh line. wow nice i absolutely love that track the guitar solo in that is top three guitar solos ever for me on a studio recording there's two different solos in that that out on that song both of them are just the second one especially just is brilliant i absolutely love that track great one uh number four for me you had bob dylan earlier with the times they are changing which is undeniably legendary i went with off this essential bob dylan album Things have changed. Oh, that's a great song too. There's a lot I of love good that. Dylan T songs. Yeah, things have changed. I I just love yeah. the lyrics with the wheelbarrow down the street and all that. It's yeah, just you got to hear song. that one. It's, it's a classic. I, his vocals excellent on that too. Yeah. Uh, number three off the uh, Odyssey and Oracle album, "Time of the Season." What's your name? Who's your daddy? Is he rich yeah. like me? Sam St. Good John pop. is Sam St. John is watching this and going, yeah. <laughs> Although time of the season, he likes a bunch of those other songs better. I think time of the season's yeah. a classic. Uh, number song. two, I'm going to make Randy Nelson a little happy on this one too. Van Morrison, title track, Tupelo Honey. Oh, great pick! You can take all the tea in China, put it in a big brown bag for me. Love it. Sail it around the seven oceans. <laughs> smack dab smack in the middle of the deep the... <laughs> <laughs> Number one. This song is just so important to me because it 
it changed my life musically it was one of the reasons I started playing the reason I started playing the banjo there was three of them seeing John Hartford hearing uh, the banjo in Gallows Pole and Led Zeppelin 3 and hearing the banjo in this song Take It Easy co-written by Jackson Brown and Glenn Fry. I just think it's one of the greatest songs ever written and uh, Bernie Leiden's playing on this song is fantastic. I just love it. That's the first track I ever heard of the Eagles was Take It Easy. That was their first single as far as I know and uh, just really, it, it's a life changer for me. So it has to be number one. Wow. Not many songs are life changers. That's one of them. That is one of them. And it was their first hit off the first album. Uh, you called it earlier. My number one was like Written in Stone, Thunder Road, tied, or the lead off track here, first track off of Born to Run. I think his best album, most accessible album, the one that really vaulted him from uh, unknown to superstar. And then he went further with that later with Born in the USA when that became really a mega hit. But I love Thunder Road. That's my third song off of that album that was a, uh, a number one off of our contest here. I had Born to Run in the B's, I had Jungle Land in the J's, and now Thunder Road in the T's. Wow. So they'll be, they'll be battling it out when we get to our uh, number one. Oh, and let's not let's do an honorable mention for 10th Avenue Freeze Out. Yes, oh. another Another great tea. Classic. Some people actually prefer that. I mean, there's some people that well, love that just, song. That's a, such a great, like, sounds like a soul review song. Like, when yeah. he does it live, it is killer. Oh, it's One of amazing live wow. songs. Yeah. It is. Yeah. So, very cool. Uh, another one down the tubes here. We got, we're going to do uh, U and V. We decided off camera. We're going to do U and V together rather than separate because. V might be a little short in the number of quality songs. So we're going to combine them. If you have five and five, that's fine. If you want to do eight and two, whatever you got, that'll be one condensed uh, episode next time. So uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Go over and check out Glenn Kellaway from the basement. Sub Please. him up if you haven't already. Thumbs up. Leave some comments. Leave some great T songs. I just want to mention a couple real quick in my honorable mentions before I get out of here, because some of these deserve special mention. I almost went with one of my favorite 60s songs, Time Has Come Today by the Chambers Brothers. Which oh, I absolutely... yeah. Totally That's an all-timer. That. I, I do have a ticket to ride. Tangled Up in Blue, another Dylan song, besides Times Are Changing and Things Have Changed. Uh, what else do I have? I, you know, I'm a sucker for Taxi by Harry Chapman. Time in a Bottle by Jim Croce. Uh, Tush by ZZ Top. That's just a few. I don't want to get too wow. enamored with them. But Man, my number 10 originally was the Chambers Brothers song, and I moved it because I didn't how have a copy. I, oh, I love that track. Especially the Do you have that on the uh, album? Do you I have do, an album? I have, I have yeah. the album. Yeah. Uh, it, only for that song. The rest of the album I don't really like that much, but that song is incredible. And it is. The, the long album version, though. Yeah, no, that's the killer. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't. That short single version that's get, yep. get away. Yeah. One of the best. So I wanted oh. to give that a special mention. Boy, is that a classic. Anyway. What, what, year, year, that was 60, what, 68 or 69? 68. 1968. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Boy, is that speak of the times, man. You just uh... And it doesn't sound like it would be a radio hit, but it was. I mean. Yeah. It's, it's like an FM, you know, kind of yeah. psychedelic. Now the time has people. come when they come back in. Oh, man. man. Yeah. Nobody's Everything about on. it. Great song. Oh, killer. Great one. Hey, but if you haven't heard it or you need to refresh, go back and listen to Time Has Come Today by the Chambers Brothers. Yeah. Highly recommend it. We will see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Have a great day, everyone. Have Thank a great you. day. And leave those comments.